Thank you for all who've uh, looked at my videos prior to this, and I will have more soon. And this is the next one. Please like or subscribe if you enjoy the content. Good afternoon, people. This is BK Diamond once again. I'm going to talk about today cultural appropriation. Uh, we have a term, it's AAVE, African American Vernacular English. And it's been going on from the days of Al Jolson on to now. But today we're going to focus on Aquafina, aka Nora Lum, a comedian up-and-coming B-lister, almost A-lister, um, who was just nominated for an NAACP award. Wow, congratulations. Did you just say NAACP award? Okay, uh, National Advancement for uh, the Advancement of Color People. I understand that. Uh, she's Asian, but uh, isn't she in, amidst the controversy involving using the black scent to further her career and then abandoning it? Uh, when convenient? Well, let us dive deeper. Nora Lum, known professionally as Aquafina, is an American actress, rapper, and comedian. She rose into prominence in 2012 with her song, My Vag. 33 years ago, um, in Stony Brook, New York, June the 2nd, 1988, uh, she was born to Korean and Chinese parents. So I would assume that she's very immersed in Asian culture. So much so that uh, she made a statement saying, I refuse to do Asian accents, Aquafina said. When asked about the role, she refuses to take. Wow, it's ironic because I would feel that she would feel the same way about other cultures. But um, let me digress very open-minded liberal type person when it comes to certain things but man I listened to uh, one of her songs and her voices came on beat was hard and all that and then she came in sounding yeah sounding very hood like and I don't think she's hood and I don't think she's apologetic but we will continue further on that and look into that including her Twitter uh, four-page monologue in which she uh, made known that she's aware of uh, the misappropriation of black culture and she didn't really apologize though it's like more so she just let us know that she's aware of it well this is just the first part of this video because I see this is a deep subject and it's been going on for many 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 years but uh, this is 2022 so we're going to keep up with what's going on now currently and we're going to dive back on the history of cultural appropriation when it comes to black people please uh, comment and press the like button